some more example of type qx is equal to sin x or cos x solve d cube y by dx cube plus 4 dy by dx is equal to cos 2x so this is given differential equation the given differential equation is d cube y means capital d cube y plus 4 dy is equal to cos 2x that is d cube plus 4d y is equal to cos 2x this is the given differential equation in the form fd y is equal to this is what fd y is equal to qx where fd is what d cube plus 4d and qx is what cos 2x then the associated homogeneous differential equation is d cube plus 4 dy is equal to 0 then the auxiliary equation is fm is equal to 0 that is what m cube plus 4 m is equal to 0 factorize this so m square plus 4 is equal to 0 so m is equal to 0 or m square plus 4 is equal to 0 that is m is equal to 0 m square is minus 4 that is we have m is equal to 0 m is equal to plus minus 2i root of minus 4 and therefore the complementary function is yc is equal to c1 e raised to 0x plus e raised to 0x in bracket c2 cos 2x plus c3 sin 2x that is we have complementary function yc is equal to yc is equal to c1 e raised to 0 x is 1 again e raised to 0 x is 1 so c2 cos 2x plus c3 sin 2x this is the complementary function then the particular integral is the particular integral is yp is equal to 1 by fd qx that is what 1 by fd is what d cube plus 4d and qx is what cos 2x then there are two rules uh, replace this d square by minus 4 but when if we have this answer is not equal to 0 that is if we replace this uh, d square if you factorize this d cube as d into d square and replace d square by minus 4 then minus 4d plus 4d is 0 so I apply the second rule so take d as common so d square plus 4 cos 2x then uh, this is what 1 by d square plus 4 1 by d cos 2x apply this 1 by d first or applying rule 1 by a square d square plus a square cos 2x and then apply 1 by d here from here we we solve this by using two methods method 1 either solve by this method or solve by second method from this step so d square plus 4 and 1 by d of cos 2x means 1 by d means integration d means derivative so integration of cos 2x is sin 2x by 2 integration of cos 2x is sin 2x by 2 and so we have 1 half 1 by d square plus 4 sin 2x and then I apply rule by rule 1 by d square plus a square sin x and the rule is what minus x by 2a cos x so 
so by using this rule a is now a is 2 so we have minus x by into minus x by 2a is 2 cos 2x by using this rule sine is replaced by cos sin 2x is replaced by cos 2x so we have the final answer this is 4 into 2 8 minus x by 8 cos 2x and therefore this is the particular integral or from this step we can apply another method that is 1 by d y p is equal to 1 by d 1 by d square plus 4 cos 2x that is apply 1 by d uh, first apply d square plus 4 1 by d square plus 4 so what we have remain 1 by d as it is and here we use rule 1 by d square plus a square cos x is what x by 2a sin x so this is x by 2 into a is 2 sin 2x value of this quantity and then next step 1 by d 1 by 4 this 1 by 4 is constant and 1 by d of x into sin 2x so 1 by d means integration of this quantity is by using part root l i a t e so this is algebraic function and this is trigonometric function sin 2x so 1 by 4 first integration of second sin 2x integration is what cos 2x by 2 integration of sin 2x is what is minus cos 2x by 2 minus mm, integration integration of second minus cos 2x by 2 into derivative of first derivative of x is what 1 dx bracket complete so this is by using part rule first what is part rule? Part rule is what? Integration of first into second is what? First integration of second minus integration in bracket. Integration of second into derivative of first dx. So this is part rule. So we have 1 by 4 minus x by 2 cos 2x. This minus minus become plus. And this one half is constant and integration of cos 2x is what is sin 2x by 2 integration of cos 2x is sin 2x by 2 and so we have the final answer minus x by 8 cos 2x plus 1 by 4 sin 2x by using this and by using first method we have this a minus x by 8 cos 2x here is minus x by 8 cos 2x what is about this extra term 1 by 4 sin 2x this term this term merge in the uh, this term c3 sin 2x that is the general solution of equation 1 is y is equal to yc plus yp that is what yc is this c1 plus c2 cos 2x plus c3 sin 2x minus x by 8 minus x by 8 cos 2x this is by using method 1 but if you apply method 2 then what is c1 plus c2 general solution is this sin 2x that is this complementary function minus and the particular integral is minus 8 x by 8 cos 2x particular integral minus 8 by x by 8 cos 2x plus 1 by 4 sin 2x this is the particular 1 by 8 sin 2x and these two terms
मर्ज इन ईच अदर दैट इज टेक साइन टू एक्स एज कॉमन वी हैव सी थ्री प्लस वन बाय एट इन ब्रैकेट टेक दिस साइन टू एक्स एज कॉमन देन व्हाट वी हैव सी थ्री प्लस वन बाय एट साइन टू एक्स and this c3 plus 1 by 8 sin 2x is new constant suppose c3 dash minus x by 8 cos 2x so we have the general solution by using both two methods that is apply this 1 by d first or apply this 1 by d After using the rule, one by d square plus a square cos x. So, I think the first method is simple. Apply one by d first. Then, next example. Solve. d square plus 4 y is equal to cos 2x plus cos 4x so write first the associated homogeneous equation then auxiliary equation and all that things we have m is plus minus 2 and then for complementary function is what e raised to 0x that is 1 plus c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x this is complementary function then particular integral yp is what 1 by fd qx that is 1 by d square plus 4 cos 2x plus cos 4x split into parts 1 by d square plus 4 cos 2x plus 1 by d square plus 4 cos 4x so Here, if we replace d square by minus four, then we answer zero. So for this factor, apply rule one by d square plus a square. So what is the rule? One by d square plus a square cos a x is x by two a sin a x. And if we replace d square by minus sixteen, then minus sixteen plus four is not equal to zero. So for this. Term apply rule one by y b square cos a x is what one by y f of minus a square cos a x. Don't write here sin a x cos a x replace uh, remain same cos a x. But in this rule, cos is replaced by sin. In this rule one by y b square cos a x remains cos a x sin a x remains sin a x. So By using this first rule for this term, we have answer x by two a is two sine a two x plus uh, replace d square by minus sixteen plus four cos four x. Then next step x by four x by four sine two x. This term minus one by My twelve cos four x, and so the general solution is what y is equal to complementary function c one cos two x plus c two sine two x plus this x by four sine two x minus one by twelve cos four x. Observe this c two sine two x and x by four sine two x. These two terms are are different. This is x into sine two x. This is only sine two x. So don't merge these two terms or don't merge these two terms. This is the final answer. Next problem of same type. Solve y double dash. Plus y is equal to sixteen sine square x into cos x. So write for the associated homogeneous equation. And the given differential equation is this: d square plus one sixteen 
sin square x into cos x. Then auxiliary equation is what? m square plus 1 is equal to 0. So m square is minus 1. So m is plus minus i. And therefore complementary function is e raised to 0 x that is 1 c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. This is the complementary function. The particular integral. We are interested in particular integral. yp is what? 1 by fd qx that is equal to what? 1 by d square plus 1. 16 sin square x cos x that is 16 1 by d square plus 1 sin square x cos x so this factor sin square x into cos x Re reduce this uh, term sin square x into cos x as a multiplication as a addition of terms of the form sin x and cos x that is Remove this multiplication. Here is the rough calculation sin square x cos x. So this is what sin x into sin x into cos x. This is sin square x into cos x is what? Sin x into sin x into cos x. So is equal to sin x one half. This sin x into cos x is one half sin x plus x minus plus sin x minus x. So this is by using the rule. We use three rules. As what are the rules? Sin a cos b is what? One half sin a plus b plus sin a minus b. Sin a into cos b. And sin A into sin B is one half cos A minus B plus cos A plus B, not plus, minus. And cos, if both factors are cos, cos A cos B is one half cos A plus B plus cos A minus B. So, use these rules to uh, express the multiplication in terms of addition. So, we have one half the sin x and this is sin 2x, sin 0 is 0, sin 0 is 0. So, this is one half sin x into sin 2x. So, use this rule. Suppose A is 2x and B is x. So what do we have? 1 half. Again we have 1 half. In bracket cos A minus B. 2x minus x is x. Or x minus 2x is minus x. But cos minus theta is cos theta. Minus this minus sign. Cos A plus B is cos 3x. So we have 1 by 4 cos x minus cos 3x. So this is the value of this quantity sin square x into cos x. What is the value? 